Today I'm making a grand piano. Grand piano? Laura always wanted a grand piano in the marquee at the wedding. And after doing some research we realised it wasn't going to work because the piano never stays in tune because of the humidity in the marquee. Plus, it's going to work out really expensive. So we decided that I was going to make a false piano to fit around David Atkinson's electric piano. There really wasn't much planning into this project, so I just looked at some images online and then just eyeballed the design really. I had some leftover sheets of ply from work and uh, just general softwood off cuts and just went for it. It's all just modelled to fit around David's keyboard and all the other dimensions are just eyeballed offline. All fixings in this project are PVA, glue and brad nails. There's a few screws I used to attach some brackets at the end but nothing really that complicated. This is a neat little trick to open your G clamps quickly, spin the body of the clamp around the handle and it's much quicker than opening by twisting the handle. The idea of the design was to have a drape across the majority of the structure of the piano so it just gives the impression of a grand piano in place. Most people during the service were really quite impressed and that everyone genuinely thought it was a grand piano. It worked really well. In this section you can see I'm just building up a second layer of the piano just so that the front edge gives a, a much better form when there's a drape across the front. Give that impression of a thick body of material. This is some claim material, some of the door frames I'm using just to make up some legs. Very simple design, straight taper. You just cut these out on the bandsaw, very simple. The legs are just mounted with pieces of timber just to pack off from the sides, give the design a bit of a relief. Just any scrap material nailed and glued in.
as the piano was only going to be seen on the keyboard end, in the bottom of the legs, that's the only section I painted. So a quick bit of spray on, matte black, and this is just normal car touch-up spray paint. At the point where I thought I was finished, I, uh, I realised it was still a little bit wobbly on the legs and decided to put a bit more bracing in. Um, we're about to start, so would you stand, please? <laughs> 